Hello folks, my name is Virat and welcome to Anything with Virat. In this video, I'm going to share with you the resume that helped me to get a job as a data analyst in one of the largest finance company of Canada. More precisely, in their insurance department, Montreal City, Quebec. Now, before we start this video, I want to give a little disclaimer that uh, this resume personally helped me a lot. Um, it gives me a job in my current position as well it, it also gave me a job interview from the other companies also so you can imagine the importance of this resume but there could be some better resume as well on internet you can use that as well but the sole purpose of this video is just to give tips and tricks which can help you throughout your journey to be a data analyst so if you are interested please bear with me and let's get started with this video here on my screen right now this is my beautiful resume and i divide this resume in five sections number one is your contact details uh, here number two is your skill summary section then professional experience then personal project and then education now for uh, contact details as it name suggests uh, it represents your name your place of living in terms of like state and city your contact number and your email id now apart from that if you have a github project uh if you have a project that you push in your github uh, repository then you can put your github account over there also because recruiter can see your project your work directly over there by clicking on the link and moreover if you have a linkedin account then you can put it as well because the thing that you are not able to uh, see uh, on resume maybe you can see on your uh, linkedin account so I think it's better to put LinkedIn account over here if you have one. Now let's get talk about this title things. Now a lot of people change the title according to the job uh, description. Suppose say they are applying for BI analyst position, then they just put the BI analyst. Suppose say they are applying for SQL developer, then they just put the SQL developer. Uh, if you want, you can change it. But uh, according to my experience, it doesn't make any change if you change your title or not because. Uh, most people nowadays know that this all BI analyst, uh, BI developer and the business analyst that comes under this same data analyst thing. So as long as your skill are matching with the job description, then you are good to go. You don't need to change your title. Apart from that, I've seen that most of the people put uh, one more objective kind of thing after this title, uh, which, which say that uh, I have uh, this amount of experience, I am a uh, technology driven i am a data driven i am motivational and a lot of other things if you want you can put this kind of objective section in your resume but uh, throughout my journey i noticed that it doesn't make any difference in terms of hiring uh, most of the time like uh, it increases your question uh, side of recruiter and maybe you got twisted during the interview like oh my god why did i put these things so uh, if you want, you can put this kind of section. If you don't want, then it's okay. Uh, apart from that, I've seen that people put the profile picture uh, as we put on, a, as we do on our LinkedIn. Uh, if you want, you can put the same profile picture uh, as you did in your LinkedIn. Uh, but I would say that it doesn't make any difference in terms of hiring. So it's just uh, like you are increasing uh, your amount of work on resume. That's it. Now just let us talk about this main thing and that is skill summary section now in skill summary section uh, i put uh, my language skill english and french uh, when i was applying for this position i was fluent in english and intermediate proficient in french but now i'm fluent in both the language mm, now the one thing i want to say about this language thing is that whenever you put some extra language like uh, french italian spanish uh, you should make sure that uh, you are really speaking you are really good in this language when i say really good it means like uh, whenever the recruiter asks you one question in the language then you should able to answer the question uh, sorry answer this question into the language they are asking so sometimes it's like <laughs> uh, really embarrassing uh, if you are not able to um, speak uh, in the interview in the language that you are mentioning so make sure that uh, you are really good at the language now uh, second thing that uh, more important is the technical skill so put each and every technical skill that you have right now uh, and if you want you can really uh, uh, how would I say the explain this technical skill in terms of the tools uh, that you are using right now suppose say 
uh, nowadays people have this is like ms excel powerpoint and word it's really common right now so like everyone have this kind of skill so if you want you can put just like just like literally ms excel powerpoint in the word but if you uh, explain this skill in the tools so as i did here like if you look up your table um, it's really good uh, it, it increases your chances to get a job uh, apart from that uh, most of the time the tutor mentioned uh, how would i say uh, uh, some technical tools like we look up your tables in the job description so if you put this kind of thing in your resume uh, it increases your chances to get a job interview uh, apart from that <clears throat> now let's go starting about the professional experience now for professional experience i would say that okay just uh, before that i just uh, i want to clarify one more thing is that uh, if you're a fresher if you don't have any experience then you can put this uh, education section just before the professional experience so that recruiter can know that oh, you are just fresher and uh, you have this amount of credit you are really good at study you did this kind of project um, yeah so that that's just like a little bit one suggestion now for professional experience uh, if you have a professional experience in the same domain where you're applying right now then it's really good if you don't have the professional experience in the same domain then you can try to relate your previous experience to your current like in your position that you are applying suppose say um, you are working as uh, administrative in like in admin department right now and if you are using excel then you can put some how would i say some excel thing that uh, that you did in your in, on your job position uh, because uh, everyone knows that uh, for data analysis uh, the excel is like must skill so you can put this uh, like you can convert your previous experience uh, according to the, your current job position uh, like you are looking for and try to be uh, like try to explain your uh, current role um, in the in the way like in, in the way of time money and the quality as i did here uh, most of people put something like that uh, responsible for creating a database responsible for creating um, dashboard and all but uh, it's really common uh, but if you want to really stand apart then <clears throat> you can you can convert your experience in such a way uh, that it shows that you are really beneficial to the company suppose say uh, as i mentioned here uh, save 30 minutes of every day by writing python script that automated data blending uh, reduce inventory cost by approx 200000 kind of by doing analysis considering stock coverage lead time and sales pattern so uh, if you have like if you have this kind of thing that you did in your previous experience then you should convert this thing uh, in terms of time in terms of money because it's it's really helpful uh, believe me it's really helpful in getting job interview and getting job and yeah one more thing like if you put this kind of thing then you should make sure that you have a answer when recruiter ask you a question uh, hiring manager ask you a question regarding this thing so you should be really good at this thing um, yeah that's it for this section and now let's talk about the personal project now if you don't have any experience in this domain then i would highly recommend that go and look for some good project uh, that you can represent in your resume because it increases your chances to get a job why because when you put the project you can explain a little bit about this project you can explain the tools that you use in this project and that way you are putting more keywords uh, that 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 ma that was mentioned in the job description and your the scanning the scanning software that the, the company are using can can scan your resume and um, you, you can get a job interview so and apart from that it shows to hiring manager that you are willing to do this this job you are really interested in this role so if you don't have one just please make one some small project uh, on real life on real life based problem uh, in my case i did one project on airbnb uh, so i just uh, made one tableau dashboard on airbnb so if you want to check this tableau dashboard i'm going to put the link in the description you can check uh, tableau dashboard it was it, it wasn't that good but it's uh they could ask me a lot of questions uh basis of uh, on the base of this uh, this tableau dashboard i'm sorry and when i say recruiter it, it means the hiring manager uh asked me a lot of questions on the basis of this uh, tableau dashboard and 
was really impressed by my Tableau dashboard. So yeah, make sure that you uh, just put one or two project in your um, in your profile. Now let's talk about the main thing, and that is this is not the main thing, but uh, like if you don't have an experience, then yeah, of course this is the main thing for your resume. Uh, the education. Now I just put the education like this way. Just uh, uh, when did I start? When did I finish? And where did I study? so and so things but if you want uh, if you don't have an experience then you can explain your education by uh, by saying that uh, oh i did this 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 type of courses i did this this type of project and i have um, 7 cgp 8 cgp or whatever cgp you have in your in your bachelor uh, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's really good to put this kind of thing um, <clears throat> now apart from that if you have any extracurriculum activity you can put it here after the education but if you ask me personally, then it doesn't make any difference whether you put your extracurriculum extra activity in your resume or not, um, because uh, a, like average, uh, like average time spent by the manager on your resume is just like three or four seconds. I, I, I forgot the actual number, so they they won't gonna look everything uh, um, everything that you put in your resume. So they will start from maybe they will start from like here and still summary section and. and and if they, if they found that you are matching the skill with the job description, then they're going to call you. So uh, if you want, then you can put achievement, extracurricular activity if you want. But I don't think so it's going to make any difference. So uh, the one page resume is more than enough. And as, as I mentioned before, also like average uh, time spent by the hiring manager resume is just three or four seconds. So it's you can understand like what I'm saying right now, right? Now, so that is it for my resume. And if you want, you can search for a better resume on internet. Uh, you can have or some better template also on internet. But as I mentioned before, um, the style of your resume doesn't make any difference. It's all about the content and where you put the content. Uh, whether you put the profile picture or not, it doesn't make any difference, right? So this is it from a resume. If you want my resume, you can download this resume template by clicking on the link that is available in the description. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel and see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.